Hello everybody, I'm Chris Good, and today I'm going to try to show you guys the way espionage influenced America's decision to enter World War I, the outcome of World War II, and the American-Soviet relationships to the present day. So, it's Europe, 1914, and Franz Ferdinand, Archduke of Austria, is visiting Bosnia and Herzegovina. He's going throughout the city with his wife, Sophia, and they're driving along when suddenly they are stopped by a mysterious stranger who shoots both of them, and they both die. So, needless to say, Austria is pretty upset, so they invade Serbia on July 27, 1914, and World War I starts. So, at first, the U.S. is out of the war, and Germany wants to keep it that way, so they launch a whole bunch of operations to try to keep the U.S. out of the war. This ranges from pro-German propaganda in newspapers to sabotage on U.S. ships. Throughout 1915, countless U.S. properties are destroyed, but nonetheless, the Germans are not successful as the U.S. eventually joins the war, and the Germans lose. So, things are pretty peaceful in Europe for a while until Adolf Hitler comes to power. The U.S. tries to stay out of World War II until Japan launches a sneak attack on Pearl Harbor. December 7th, 1941. A day of infamy. Even as Japanese diplomats were conferring with Secretary of State Hall on peace measures, the United States' fear of a Japanese invasion led to the formation of the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency. It also led to America joining yet another war, World War II. One example of American operations during World War II is Eric Erikson. Eric Erikson was a Swedish-American businessman who posed as a Nazi in order to gain the trust of the Germans. The Germans had pretty much no oil, so they welcomed his business. While he was trading with him, he often got the chance to look at their synthetic oil operations, which were usually destroyed by airstrikes a few days later. The Germans never made the connection that he was a spy, and that he was helping to stop the German war machine. So, by 1945, the war was over, and Germany was split into two parts. The East was controlled by the Soviets, and the West was controlled by NATO. The CIA and the MI6 of Britain wanted information on what was going on in East Germany, so they decided to build a tunnel underneath the border to tap Soviet phone lines. It cost nearly $25 million to make, but it was a huge success. Here's the plot twist, though. George Blake, one of the agents, was a KGB spy. No one really knows why he didn't try to stop the project sooner. After the Berlin Wall came down in 1989, many people thought the golden age of espionage was over. However, in the present day, there is still a lot of spying going on. But a case unfolding along the East Coast sounds like a chapter out of the Cold War. Ten Russian intelligence officers have been arrested, allegedly for spying on the U.S. Donald Heathfield, one of the agents, actually stole his identity from a dead Canadian. The FBI says that in 2004, he told his Russian superiors that he had made contact with the scientist working at a U.S. government research facility finding out about nuclear weapon development. In 2005, he talked to a retired U.S. national security official. Recap. Espionage influenced America's decision to enter World War I, the outcome of World War II, and American-Soviet relations to the present day. So, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it.